blah, 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 blah. Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Richard Plunker from the Poppetum Geek, and today, guys, I'm here again with another review from Adonit. I, I really can't get the name how to say it. So I've reviewed like two of their other styles, so they still can't get the name. Ad, Adonit? Adonit? Is that how you pronounce it? Ad, Adonit? Adonit. 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 I, I don't know. Anyways, this is the Adonit. Uh, Jot Pro Stylus, as you can see here, it's nice sitting in its cradle. And uh, what's really great about this is that it's not just your any ordinary stylus, it takes it to a whole new level. So taking a closer look at it, you can see that it has uh, two shortcut buttons on the actual stylus itself. Uh, the weight of it isn't too bad as well. Um, it has a nice sort of weight to it. It doesn't feel, it feels slightly bigger than any ordinary pen, but more like a sort of stylus that you'll get with a, um, with a tablet, like a Wacom tablet. Um, but not like your ordinary uh, pen though, like compared to their other styluses, which try to match that. So connecting your stylus to your iPad is really easy. I mean, you just hover over the connect tool and everything just connects via Bluetooth. So you just hold it there, it connects, it's connected. Uh, really simple, really easy. You don't have to go through, you know, the Bluetooth settings on your iPad. Uh, also with this app in particular, uh, and like the other apps, it says that you can, you know, it, you're supposed to sort of customize your stylus to you. And, you know, over here, the LED actually changes colors as well. So you can do it whatever color you want to personalize your stylus to what you like. You can name your stylus and also choose um, if you're left hand or right hand and the type of um, writing style or drawing style that you use. Uh, I found that really handy because as a left hander, I love to have my palm in an awkward position. Um, and because it runs through Bluetooth, it doesn't affect uh, me drawing and as you can see here using the back uh, shortcut tool on this is really easy and also the other button as well um, which you know enables the app to just to be more fluid you know while actually choosing colors um, choosing the razor tool the different pens and everything you know I don't have to take my um, you know pen really off or my stylus sorry <laughs> off the screen and you know have to go because I can make this full screen uh, and do it that way and then you know I just have that shortcut button brings it up and I can choose different things um, and you know right drawing is really easy too I mean I'm not the best of drawers now but as you can see here my little sketch so overall the Jot Pro is a really great tool for you know an artist and I think it's a really great accessory for the pencil case but at the same time I don't see every single person going out and spending $150 for you know a stylus but at the same time, you know, if you are an artist who uses your Apple um, iPad to draw, to sketch and everything, definitely check out the Jot Pro. Uh, it's a useful tool. It's handy than any ordinary stylus out there. I um, mean, you've got your shortcut tools. You've got a recharging station. It's pretty high-end pen, uh, if I have to say. But at the same time, it's not for everyone, but it's definitely a great accessory to have if you're that type of person who loves drawing on your iPad. This is definitely going to make some sort of a difference rather than using your finger or a cheap $5 stylus. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions regarding the stylus or anything like that, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer that. Uh, and as well as I mentioned in my previous video when I reviewed the InstaCube, don't forget to hashtag the Puppetum Geek in you know anything you want to share with me, um, and you know I'll be checking that out thoroughly. Uh, and I'm going to be hopefully putting soon when I get a few pictures, uh, putting the uh, InstaCube right here so you can sort of see that and see your pictures roll up while I make videos. I thought that would be pretty cool. So if you want to do that, hashtag the Puppetum Geek. Uh, and thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Hey guys, how's it going? It's me Richard Plunker from the Puppetum Geek and today guys I've got you a review of Air Server. Air Server is practically what it says here. It mirrors your display and streams your content from your iOS devices. Now I've got a number of questions from a lot of people asking how do I record all my gameplay on my iOS device and this is how I do it.